This was a guy who, uh, from Kentucky, he bought a pin off of me. Then he mailed me a thank you card. There was actually $10 in it, and I spent it already. And, uh, gave me some stickers. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's, uh, I definitely, of course I spent the money on beer. This is a zine from Providence, Rhode Island. Really, uh... I love the scene in Providence, to be honest with you. I used to, I've, I've been there dozens and dozens of times taking flicks and exploring and came with some stickers. A lot of history in Providence. Yeah, I want to go back and visit some of these spots again. A lot of track sides. This guy, Marky, he was up a lot downtown in Soho with Rebs and Cost during that, that time period. He's also a pretty great artist. Bunch of Marky stickers. Thanks for these stickers. This is an artist from Texas. It's my first time hearing of this artist. Tips it up. Give this guy a follow. So yeah, thanks uh, for sending all this stuff in. I'll put an address down in the description below. I'll uh, do another mail opening. Let's get into this video. Hey, what's up? So today we're gonna be checking out the Boone Avenue walls in the Bronx. I wasn't able to make it to the jam when they were painting. This was painted uh, last week. It looks like it's pretty busy, so I may only be able to show some of the walls. A lot of the cars are blocking the other walls, but the Boone Avenue walls is a yearly block party that they've been doing for like five years now. When COD curated it, Writer's Bench Clothing, and you know, these guys have been around They're like Bronx legends that really this is a really unique wall lineup of writers yeah I come up this way often so I'll probably this video is just gonna be about these walls just they were recently painted but I'm gonna pass through here again and I'll get all the walls that I missed when COD to come back and do this other half of the block on another day when these businesses are closed. Euler. This is some friends of Nose that passed away. Rem 311, LM4. A lot of history. It's Totem TC5, Bluster. And I think this is, uh, this is by Surge FC, but I'm not sure what. He did a different name. Yeah, this is a, this is really classic. This is a little bit of history, but Bluster used to run a clothing brand called PNB Nation. Pretty influential streetwear brand. I used to have all the PNB clothes, a lot of people, and they went on to other ventures, but there's another one, Doc TC5, behind those cars there. I'll have to, I have a picture of it. I'm gonna, I could put in, I can't, the cars are in the way. The 
a picture of that. And another piece of interesting fact about this wall I'm looking at right now. When they first did this jam, five years ago now, I think, there was a different lineup on this wall. It was Spot KMS, Acne, who passed away, um, Yes One, and um, Shiro, they had a piece on this wall. But yeah, this is, it's real busy right now. I mean, the lighting is pretty good right now, but a lot of, a lot of cars in the way. So you gotta come back to this section. It's Wayne and Stash, it's another streetwear legend. I'm gonna try to maybe get some pictures of this. I'm gonna have to come back. Days.